Hi guys, it's Jenna Hella Rigby and today I'm partnering with Fred Meyer to share this affordable makeup look featuring all products that you can find at your local Fred Meyer. If you'd like to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So the first thing we're going to be doing is priming the face with the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. This is a great pore filling primer. Then we're going to start in on the eyes and I'm using the new CoverGirl Jewels palette from the True Naked collection. I grab the lightest pink shade and I'm putting that into my crease. Then with the shimmery brown shade, I'm going to pat that onto the lid. I found that this particular shade doesn't really apply very pigmented without the help of a setting spray. So I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray to give it extra pigmentation. Then with a blend of the brown and black shades, I'm running that into my crease to deepen up this eye look. With a blend of the pink and white shades, I'm using those two colors to blend out any harsh lines. And then you may have to go back over with the shimmer shade again, which is what I'm doing here. And then I'm deepening up my crease with a bit of the Physicians Formula Bronze Boost Contour Powder. Next up, I'm highlighting my brow bone with the lightest shade in the palette. And finally, I'm taking the purple shade and I'm running it all along the lower lash line to add a pop of color to this look. I'm just blending it out with a small smudger brush. Then I'm going back in with my crease brush and just blending it out. I did have a little bit too much product on there, so I am just cleaning that up with a makeup wipe. Then I'm defining my eye with the Physicians Formula Eyeliner. This is one of my absolute favorites, but be sure to grab this one in Ultra Black. Then I'm adding some of the new Wet n Wild Renegade Lash Mascara. This has a really interesting ball tip applicator and goes on really bold. I'm also trying out a new concealer. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Concealer. This one is close to my skin tone, so I'm using this not only under my eyes, but also to cover up any dark marks and blemishes on my face. Then once I've placed the concealer, I'm just using the Wet n Wild foundation brush to blend it all in. And I'm also trying out a new foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Ready Foundation in Nude Ivory. It's a perfect color match for my skin, but be careful. As you can see there, I accidentally spilled a big drop of it using their um, applicator. So definitely be warned, it can get a little drippy. And to contour my face, I'm using the Bronze Booster Contour Powder again. I absolutely love this. It's great for us fair skin girls. And from that same palette, I'm using the Yellow Tone Powder just to set my concealer and any areas where I need extra coverage. To add some color to my cheeks, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne. This is a pretty nude rose shade that I absolutely love. It is extremely pigmented, so you're going to want to blend this out. And then I'm using the Pearl shade from the Physicians Formula Brown Boost Strobing Palette to highlight my cheekbone. And then I decided I wanted to add a bit of nose contour, so I'm using the brush that comes in the Bronze Boost Contour Palette and using that contour shade again to define my nose. I also picked up the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Frame and Set to fill in my brows. This is very similar to the high-end Anastasia Brow Pomade. It comes with a little brush and a spoolie, which is very convenient, and the product is super easy to blend and goes on really nicely. I really enjoyed this product. Mm -hmm. 
And to finish off the look, I'm using two Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. The first one I'm applying here is Covet. This is kind of a reddish brown. With and then to the center of the lips, I'm adding the Amore Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stunning, which is a really pretty kind of pinkish nude beige color. And then after that, I just applied some L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. So that's it for this affordable makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!